Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. The last month we ended up getting our all our beans sown. We got all our nitrogen applied as well. The main focus for us for today is I was looking at the markets this morning and I think we have quite a bit of stuff to be moving around. We got beans that are ready to sell so we're going to be getting the auger set up later today on that. And we also got our planks and furniture that are ready to sell as well. So the planks are still going up, up as of right now. Furniture's starting to go down, but hopefully we can get get in gear here and get a bunch of that stuff mo sold. I got one load already loaded, as you can tell here. It's kind of a massive load already. I can tell you the Mac is already struggling with that. And our looks like our cattle are going to need some tending to, too, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like both pastures are going to need some tending to today, so. The one other task I want to get done today as well is that we got some weed control that we have to take care of before the crops start getting too tall on us. But we're going to we're gonna start by heading in with this first load of planks here. I We still got, I think, six or seven pallets of planks yet to haul in and then we'll have all that furniture to haul in as well and then we'll have grain to move as well so I kind of want to get all the all that taken care of first before we start worrying about getting spraying done we'll have plenty of time today to get all that stuff knocked out and I kind of want to see how much money we're going to be raking in right now just because I'm curious we like I said we haven't really I know all the other years, I think I've always sold at least another load in between season, even though it's not the greatest pricing. But this past year, I didn't really sell anything. And we didn't really, oh, we didn't really move too many planks around just because we had the Oliver on the main farm helping us out there, which I was fine with for the most part, most part, to be honest with you. It's kind of nice to bring that tractor back and use it every once in a while, just to reminisce from wh where we started at, to be honest with you. But let's see here. And I was thinking if we got if we get enough money, we might actually start trying to work on putting our diesel production facility up as well. Let's see here. We still got lots of lumber to sell. Oh. That one this oh, there we go. Just a little bit more. There we go. So I think we got about $120,000 off that. Looks about like that. Let's check the finance menu here. Almost 121000 and we still got we still got loads of more to bring in. I, I'm thinking right now, one of the things I might invest into, another mod, is into the auto-loading trailer with all the products we're going to be moving here just to save a little bit of time. Even though it's not realistic, but you know it, it's more of a convenience thing anymore because we have so much products that we're gonna we're moving anymore. I don't think the planks will work with it, but I was thinking more or less for all the cheese and butter we'll be selling later on in the year too. That it might be nice to have one of those enclosed auto loading trailers for the farm. I think that will be something we will definitely be looking into investing to. And. The, I noticed the game's a little jittery. It's had an update today, so it's it it likes to do that little lag in the frames here, so to speak. It was starting to run fine, so I figured I'd be good to start recording today, but maybe that's not the case here. One of the and I think one of the other things too is I might bring the Oliver back out out here for the springtime as well. Use it a little more. Oh boy. Looks like we missed a little strip in the field there. Kind of an eyesore. It would have been nicer if it was way out in the middle to where I can't can't really see it. Now it's just gonna bug me. But we got we got quite a few quite a bit of tasks going on today. I'm trying to decide yeah where I want when we decide to put up that field refinery station. Where exactly do I want to go with it, so to speak? Because there's a lot of areas on the map that we could go with it, but I'm not sure what's what's going to be more my fancy, so to speak. I feel like we should keep it up closer to the hot, closer to the highway, just because we will be exporting a lot of our fuel. But who knows for sure what I'm going to decide in the end here? 
Oh boy. There we go. Now we can see. Had the camera a little far out into the trees there. Get the Oliver fired up here. Get the straps off. And how many? Yeah, it looks like we'll have. Well, if we got two, we'll have about two coming out from the mill yet. But we still got quite a few planks yet that we'll be selling here. This first one loaded. But I think that's what we got planned out for the day right now here, is just to get everything, get all our stuff sold, because we still got, we'll still, we'll have at least two loads of beans to clean out of our bin yet, to get sold off, and then we'll start working on getting spraying done afterwards, after we get everything else done, ever, after we get everything else done. Kind of struggling yet this morning. I think, one of the things, oh. Uh, I don't like that, but I did kind of a poor job. Let's just cheat a little here and slide it back. There we go. Not perfect, but it's a lot better than what it was. One of the things we probably should do, too, is we haven't really washed our semi yet. It's starting to get pretty dirty the way it's looking, so maybe we'll, we'll put that down as one of our odd tasks to do today as well. I'm pretty sure the grain trailer is getting, getting pretty like that as well. But I think we're we're probably gonna jump into the time lapse here. Like I said, I think if we get enough money, we'll we'll probably look into actually investing into doing a uh, getting a property set up so that way we can start looking into doing fuel production this year. Maybe I'll hold off on putting that bin, that next bin up, like I said, for now on the fa main farm for now, just to see because if we're going to st start doing fuel production I know that I think the plant said it took canola let's double check here I know it said canola and sunflowers oh, let's see here that's the feed mill oh where is it there we go diesel production so it takes soybeans canola and sunflowers to make biodiesel so if we do, I think if we do that, we'll probably end up putting all all our canola towards that. Yeah, I think that would be this. I don't know if we'll put all our beans towards it. We'll see what we'll have to see what it kind of yields too to know what we what we want to do for sure here. Just because with oh, because beans do bring in a pretty decent profit for us. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't yield what we want it to because the other thing we'll have to worry about too is that I don't think we can sell straight up sell our diesel so this is going to be kind of a more of a massive oh a massive investment because we'll need a tanker to haul it and then we're going to need a find see if we can find someone that we can basically invest into to come out here and start selling fuel right up at the highway or out here in the woods to the very few people who are out here living with us and helping keep our production facilities running as of right now. So I'll have to do some more looking into that between episodes here because we already got enough. We're already going to have enough money for for the diesel production facility itself. So and plus we pro don't have to put it up right away because we don't we because I'm still planning to sell off the beans yet for this season just so we have all that extra cash to help with that part of investing. So we could probably just buy the land and we could probably harvest the grass off it and then get some hay actually. That'd probably actually be a pretty good idea, even though it'll take us a while to get haul it all back home, but I think it'd be worth it in the end. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll hold off on the diesel facility. We can scout out to where we want to set it up at and then we can go from, from there, so to speak, of where we want to set up the future gas station with where we can take our fuel to to sell so but anyways we'll finally jump into the time lapse here guys and we'll see you guys in a little bit
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. It was being a little goofy towards the end there with the si with us trying to get silage in the bucket. I don't know why I kept falling on the ground. I know when I did it the first time that happened, but after that I got to work where it was filling up the skid loader bucket, so I'm not sure what was going on with that here. But we're get getting our cat all topped off, so next month we'll be able to focus on some other things as well. I think, I think next month we can actually... We'll actually be harvesting, won't we? I think we'll be harvesting canola next month, but I can't remember for sure when we planted that stuff, so we'll we'll find out here find out here in a while. As I say, are we actually gonna be able to offload all this TMR? No, we'll just, just have enough left to start the next batch, so I'm guessing next time we'll probably be pretty darn close getting offloaded. How much and they hold 4,500. We'll have to get them some water, though. They're starting to get a little low there. So maybe I'll do that in off screen here. So I'm planning to, between episodes here, I'm planning to get our, I'm planning to scout out where I want to put up the diesel production facility. And we're going to, we're going to get that rolling and go, going here shortly. So we'll be focusing, so we'll be focusing on buying another tank, tanker for, to transport in our fuel. And we'll be getting the facility set up, getting some people brought out here to run it for us and such. So we'll have quite a bit to come back to next episode. I also need to remember to get those dang roads out there finished out. Because I still keep saying that every episode we had out there and I still haven't done it yet. But that's going to be what I'm doing between our downtime between the episodes here. But this is where we're going to wrap it up today, folks. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.